Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at Sick Week 2023. It is day two and we're at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Today I'm joined by Michael Borgren and behind us is his 1987 Volvo wagon with a turbocharged 388 cubic inch LS and it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Michael, thanks so much for giving us a little bit of time today to no chat. Problem. I know it's already been an eventful day one and morning of day two here, uh, so I do appreciate it. You know, we've seen the Volvo here at a couple different drag and drive events and love it. Wanted to know more about it. Uh, so if you would, give us a little history about uh, the 87 Volvo here. Yeah, we've had it, had it for quite a few years actually, and uh, the car, we, we bought it we bought it 2017 actually, already. So we made it, yes, like a road trip car, nothing crazy, yes, road trip through the United States, and then we decided, let's do Drag Week and let's put an LS engine in it. Yeah. So that's where it all started, and... It was just, you have to slow, like a slow eight, nine second, typical LS turbo kind of deal from the beginning. And then it kind of yeah. snowballed from there. Yeah, well, that's awesome. I mean, certainly you look at a Volvo and you get all different kinds of thoughts about what a Volvo and a wagon is. And then we watch you go down and run six second passes and uh, you're not expecting it. So it's awesome to see it. Yeah. So. Please walk us through, you know, a lot of that's thanks to the turbocharged LS that you got. You know, what, what all is in the setup? You know, walk us through it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nothing really crazy. It's it's still a cast dark steel block in it. And it's, uh, it got rust pistons, GRP aluminum rods, and uh, CID cylinder head, LS7 style. Uh, Got a Sean custom alloy, uh, LS7 intake, fuel tech injectors, it got TND rockers, uh, Manton push rods, Victor valves, and uh, got a Alto Verde dry sump, billet dry sump pan and pump, and uh, yeah. Now, how about the turbo? Uh, what, what's that and how big is it? Yeah, we've got a precision okay. pro mod. Okay. 110 millimeter okay. single turbo on Very it. Good. And about how much boost are you running through that? Uh, it depends a little bit, you know, like we were hoping to really get after it this week, but we had we had some gremlins before we got here, so it's actually it's actually hurt right now, but we're kind of limping it a little bit. But we're running somewhere between um, 45 and 55 pounds of boost. Okay. And if it wasn't hurt, would it be a little higher than that? Or no, we we haven't we haven't really been over 55. That's kind of where yeah. we've been at at, a, okay. at, a, at its highest. Yeah. We were kind of hoping to get after it really this week, but to run with the faster guys in the class. But since it's a little bit hurt, you have to try to be a little bit smart. It it's the real challenge here is to keep to keep the combustion in the chamber like with the water because it's still a wet deck setup so that's kind of the limitation on this setup here yeah very good now how much horsepower are you getting out of the LS yeah I mean we haven't really done at it we have a decent idea but it's probably somewhere in the area close to like probably closer to 2500 or something at the wheels probably yeah, yeah. And obviously that equates to six second passes out there for you. Now, you did really well last year at Sick Week and you know, you're starting off pretty solid again this, this year. You know, what are the expectations uh, going through the rest of the week? Yeah, I mean, we don't, we kind of took the expectations down since it's hurt on one cylinder. Like, we we heard it on the dyno Monday, so we had to put a 
rod, piston, and weld, weld the head back up. Yeah. So we're in a pretty bad spot actually. So okay. we have a lot of power out of one cylinder. Yeah. So we're basically running it on seven and a half cylinders right now, kind of, because yeah. we have so much timing out of it. Yeah. So. And you're still hitting six, you know, six yeah, second pass. But, yeah. you know, ideally, if that wasn't the case, you know, would you guys be, you know, where would you I guys would be? Have, I would have yeah. wanted to run just similar time to the fastest guy in the class. Yeah. I haven't done it, but I would have wanted to. And that would have put it in the, in the 50 or 60 kind of area. But I don't know if it will do it, but that's kind of what we would have wanted to do. But since it's hurt, we just have to back it off a little bit and try to be a little bit smart about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well. Sorry to hear that that's the case, but uh, it's still awesome to watch you go down the track with this Volvo. It's it's a sight. And Thank you. Uh, Michael, we wish you the best of luck. The rest Thank of you the very week much. here. Thank you. And uh, guys, we hope you enjoyed this Engine of the Week. Thanks to Michael Borgen. Make sure you're checking him out. And as always, make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. And we appreciate watching Engine of the Week. We'll see you next time.